21st to the 28th of May in uh, the Egyptian Culture Center in Vienna, Austria. Uh, the event was held in line with the Egyptian Cultural Week in Vienna. The Cultural Week encompassed lectures, folkloric shows, art exhibition, tradition, traditional music and dances. Dr. Mohamed D won many uh, uh, international and national awards and he held exhibitions in Russia, Switzerland, London, India, South Korea, among others. And he's joining us today to be speaking more about this important event. Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome. Welcome, uh, Dr. Mohamed. Um, if you can tell us uh, to start off, what was the theme of your exhibition in Vienna? And uh, maybe like an overview, how many works did it include? How was it received in Vienna? Yes, actually it was a very successful exhibition. It is not the first time. Uh, this is the third time in Vienna. I made before, since two years, Hello Ya Baladi, which was very, very attractive for all the foreigners and for Galiet. Uh, different nationality. Last year it was shadows, and this year we choose a very important uh, uh, topics about the mashrabiya. The mashrabiya, it's actually it is uh, uh, Egyptian identity, and it is uh, presence in uh, old Cairo and present in Al Azhar, in Gamaliya, and uh, it has a very uh, characteristic of our uh, personality. It was started a long time. Um, and the, uh, the, 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 the carpenter, the Egyptian carpenter, was using the small uh, wood and it was amalgamate each other and uh, it was becoming more enrichment uh, during the Islamic century in last Al Asr of Mani, Asr of Turkey. And uh, we have uh, many old houses uh, like Bet uh, Sinari, Wakalit uh, Al-Ghuri, uh, we have Zainab uh, Khatoun. Uh, All of this, it is full of Islamic architectures, which it is a very fantastic and it was very attractive. So around how many uh, pieces of, um, I mean, Actually, it was 30 pieces, 30 pieces, was, yes, of the different uh, 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 sites uh, uh, in the uh, old Cairo, Cairo here, yeah. in the old Cairo. And uh, uh, I use special effects uh, in my modern uh, scope uh, by uh, uh, close-up, uh, by uh, combining images, uh, by um, what's called zooming. And uh, you must know that Mashrabiya was already studied by uh, one of the very uh, famous uh, uh, artists, it is Vasarelli, from the optic art. He was studied the Islamic art and repetition of the units and then he was go through for the abstract after that so actually i was very attracted by this islamic architecture and my uh, this mashrabi so if you can tell us uh, uh, the festival what did it come uh, did it come with the vienna festivals or why is this specific timing for uh, uh, you know holidays? actually the may it is full of many festivals and it is a very attractive time for uh, most of the nationalities, uh, visitors uh, this time. And uh, uh, what attracted me uh, this time in May, it is uh, Vienna Festival Historical Day. This is one of the day which they have many celebrations and many aspects of the celebrations. Uh, during this time, you find the people who have historical um, dressing, uh, folklore, classes, yes, yeah. uh, music, and uh, uh, there is a very interactions between the tourists uh, and citizens and native citizens, and this is the event. What I was suggest why we are we are planning for the future for uh, Cairo. I'm sure after the election of uh, the president uh, uh, Sisi, inshallah, inshallah, there will be a more uh, planning for attraction of more tourists and um, more planning for uh, 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 multimedia to show that our uh, country is uh, more uh, successful in all of that. So I was suggest that will be why we are not have a Cairo uh, 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 historical festival day, why we have uh, no Luxor, like Luxor, like Aswan, like uh, yes. uh, uh, Sharm el-Sheikh, uh, Alexandria, all of that, if we are dividing, it will be more attracted and it will be more planning for our historical uh, uh, events. Uh, Dr. Mohammed, why did you uh, choose the uh, Mashrabiya and Arabesque in particular? 
Actually, because uh, I was uh, dividing my activities, uh, not only pharaonic or not only the Coptic uh, uh, um, landmarks, but also I was attracted by the Mashrabiya because I told you that during when I was a student, I was visit. I visit already the modern museum in London, uh, Paris, about the optic art. Oh. I was already attracted. And so I wanted to go the same schools, which was Vasarelli, was already started on the restriction. And that's why during in the last exhibition, I using any special effects of Mashrabiya. Oh. And I have another exhibition in next October in Russian Culture Center in Doki about Mashrabiya uh, uh, um, uh, creative uh, view. So you, you, you keep on innovating and uh, you, you come up with themes every time <coughs> with different styles of photography. And it's amazing that you are interested and attracted to art and culture since you were a student. Why didn't you uh, move towards this, you know, because I know that you're a doctor of orthopedics, uh, you're an orthopedic uh, specialist and also you're a photographer. So uh, why didn't you move in, in, into one uh, line? Uh, actually, both of them, they are very, very enriched in my practice. I did not leave that I am an orthopedic surgeon and I am proud that I am a photographer. And uh, you must know that there is nowadays, uh, in the last, uh, since 15 years now, there is what's called the art therapy. And the uh, photography art therapy or camera art therapy is now is a part of art therapy, which they are used this for the treatment of the handicapped children to increase the quality of uh, services for healthy educations, for many diseases and for um, um, uh, changing the uh, faces of the attraction of the visitors and patients and not only for diagnosis, it's also used for the treatment. Uh, and not only the professional camera, they can use now the camera which it is present in the mobile and the iPad and they make feedback for uh, 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 to improve the behavior, to improve the uh, uh, healthy lifestyle, to uh, uh, improve the uh, quality of life. All of that it is through the camera. And nowadays there is many schools, many societies in Europe, uh, in Europe, in um, in uh, many universities in uh, United States, America, they have an uh, uh, photography art therapy or camera art therapy. And uh, Dr. Mohammed, you lived in Vienna for a few years. And of course, Vienna is the city of art and culture and history. Did it have any effect how, or actually, how did it affect your artistic uh, work? Of course, you must know why we uh, usually, uh, this is the third year to go to Vienna. Uh, Vienna, it is a, a city of art. It is a city of the beauty. It is the city of the gardens and flowers full of uh, uh, many colors and it is a full of music you know this is a place of uh, how we can enjoy by Mozart, Mozart. and by music and uh, you know that the people how to live without tension they choose the type of their life how they are using the choice of the gardens visiting the gardens walking making exercises and listening of the different types of the music. So this is a very, very high important and attractive actually to me and to invite also all the young peoples and the uh, uh, geriatric, uh, our father and the mother, uh, they must uh, break their lifestyle and choose a new lifestyle. And did this affect your artistic work? Of course, this is an artistic point. In what because sense? Because uh, which I, I tell you this is uh, not only the artistic point, it's also it is the music. When, the, when the, you are combined that it is the musical therapy and it is art therapy. No, but uh, seeing you as a photographer mainly, did it, I mean, uh, uh, shape something in, in the way you want to uh, take pictures of something or, or maybe you started off taking photography when you were in Vienna? So how were you sort of affected? In terms uh, of yes, because uh, usually when I work. was uh, I was uh, many members in the uh, mini society, so I'd usually all of this um, taking the shots I usually review each mm. year. Okay. For example, they have very high modern architectures of the high buildings yes, and course, all of and that. They have beautifully artistic and, uh, and buildings. This is very good in that you are making uh, um, compositions of the Weird. modern architectures. 
Not only of that, also the colors of the flowers. Uh, the, uh, you know, the Vienna has uh, have uh, a very oldest uh, zoo in uh, Europe. And it even has the tracks the for cycles, underwater, and, uh, underwater zoo. It is underwater, uh, underwater zoo. It has the many colors of fish. I was thinking, why we have no in Sharm el Sheikh uh, something like that? It is now established in Dubai. It was established in uh, Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so we uh, we have a very attractive coral and very attractive colors of fish. Why yes. we did not put this in our strategy? for uh, tourist sure, attractions really. of that yeah. in the let's, let's hope that would happen. I'd finally like to thank you very much, Dr. Mohamed Bipu. Thank you, and thank, thank you, you for my much. TV, and thank you for your thank you. thank you. And in a few hours, uh, the World Cup and the long-awaited four sports event is going to be uh, kicking off for the first match between Brazil and Croatia. Everybody's looking forward uh, for the matches for almost a month. Uh, the World Cup Brazil 2014 is going to be taking place. Let's move now for the short break all around the World Cup and the groups. Thank you.